So I'm not sure where I should really start with this. Uh, this has been uh, about four years in the making. Um, to be honest, I wasn't sure if, if we'd ever get here, but here we are. And it's pretty exciting, to be honest. There it is, The Minimalist Less Is Now on Netflix. My new Netflix documentary is now streaming worldwide. 190 countries all over the world. Brazil, you bet. Argentina, you got it. Canada, sorry, actually, it's not available in Canada. No, it's totally available. It's in Canada, it's, it's everywhere that Netflix is available. I am so excited to finally finish this film. It's been four years in the making. But I'm also really excited to share it with you. As many of you know, back in 2016, I directed and released my first documentary called Minimalism. To our surprise, this little indie film connected with millions of people all over the world, helping them to identify what was truly important in their lives. This new documentary is a much needed follow-up. It explores the impact the minimalist movement has continued to make on people's lives and to see the many new challenges we face when it comes to finding purpose, meaning, and contentment. I again teamed up with my producers, Joshua Milburn and Ryan Nicodemus. If you know Josh and Ryan from the first film or from their podcast or many books, uh, they go by The Minimalists and they talk about their story of how they grew up poor with really nothing, thinking that they had to get everything, success, money, everything society tells us to get to be happy, to eventually realizing that that path was leaving them just as unfulfilled as being completely broke. And so the heart of the film takes us deeper into their story, revisiting their childhood, and the corporate years that defined so much of their lives. And most importantly, how they were able to break free from the status quo to live a simple life. And so the film started with just that simple premise. Let's capture Josh and Ryan sharing their story directly to camera. And then as we started to build upon that and move the story forward, we started to bring on experts to interview uh, that we hadn't interviewed during our first film, Minimalism, people who can give us a richer context of society and how we got to this place. The consumer world understands that if I can get you to choose before you think, I'm gonna get you to buy things you do not need. My senses are just being bombarded with reminders like, hey, you should buy this. You'd be happier if you buy this, you know? And it's just sort of like, in so many ways, they're just trying to beat you in a submission. Right? Okay, I'll buy it, I need it, I need it. Cut. Well, I know that there were so many people that were touched by our first documentary. The problem of overconsumption and compulsive consumption and this grip that advertising and the media and social influences have over us is stronger than ever. And it takes even more for us to, to break through and snap out of the matrix. And I hope that this film is able to pick up where we left off. This is a film about a couple guys who were able to turn their lives around, but it's so much more than that. It's really about how you can change your own life. And I hope that you'll be able to see that we all have this opportunity at our hands. Every day we have a chance to turn things around. I think we should all be allowed to etch a sketch our life and say, you know, I thought this is the life I wanted, but it's not. Why hold on to what you used to do and who you used to be and lose who you want to become? All right, so I'm not gonna drag this video on and on. If you could do one thing for me today, it would mean the world to me. Uh, if you could do it right now, go to Netflix, watch it. It's only 50 minutes, it's a minimalist film. We tried to keep this thing as short and as intentional as possible. Uh, or you can wait until later tonight, bring the family, gather them around, watch The Minimalists. Less is now on Netflix. It would truly mean the world to me. Uh, I'm so grateful for the team that I was able to work with on this project. So many talented filmmakers, lighting crew, audio, everybody that was able to come together to make this project. Um, I appreciate you. I'm not gonna name everybody because I, I'm, I'm gonna leave somebody out and then I'm gonna feel bad later on. Uh, this is starting to feel like an acceptance speech, which it's not. Uh, but I, you know, I'm truly grateful to be able to work with amazing people. And also, 
I pinch myself every time I, 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 you know, I make a film. The fact that this was a dream of mine to be able to make documentaries, and at one point that's all it was. And now that I'm able to do this for a living is absolutely crazy. And um, you guys are definitely a part of that. And you're going to be a part of the documentaries that I make in the future. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support over the years. And if you got a few minutes, go check out the film. Thank you. Bye, guys. Happy New Year. Thank God 2020 is over. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.